TV7 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases throughout the Jewish state continues to rise with the latest data published by the Israeli Health Ministry revealing that 4,831 individuals tested positive to the disease so far, out of whom 83 are in critical condition. Israeli Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu has entered self-quarantine after his advisor for the ultra-Orthodox sector tested positive for the corona contagion. Israeli Finance Minister Moshe Kahlon announces the state's economic aid package, which aims to assist the Jewish state during these times of crisis. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases throughout the Jewish state continues to rise. The latest data published by the Israeli Health Ministry reveals that 4,831 individuals tested positive to the disease, out of whom 83 are in critical condition as of 8 o'clock this morning. I'm sad to report that three more Israelis have lost their lives to the contagion, raising the number of victims to 18 people. Furthermore, the latest fatality to the contagion this morning is the youngest Israeli victim thus far, a 49-year-old woman who is survived by her two four-year-old twins. In contrast to the sorrow over each coronavirus fatality, the number of Israelis that recovered, including one Israeli who was classified as critically ill, rose to 163 individuals total. Meanwhile, incumbent Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu, whose advisor for the ultra-Orthodox sector tested positive for the corona contagion, has entered self-quarantine and is now undergoing relevant medical tests for fear of possibly contracting the disease as well. Thankfully, a first test of the Israeli leader provided negative results. Nevertheless, during a special televised briefing from the Prime Minister's residence in Jerusalem, in which the latest measures to be enacted by the interim Israeli government were announced, Premier Netanyahu underscored his decision to remain in self-isolation as part of his efforts to set a personal example for the Israeli people. <laughs> החלטתי להיכנס לבידוד מרצון כדי לתת דוגמה אישית. The Israeli Prime Minister further noted that while Israel is currently in a better position than most countries around the world vis-à-vis -vis the number of patients in critical condition and the mortality rate altogether, Jerusalem's aspiration aims to learn from several Asian countries, including South Korea, which managed to greatly slow the contagion spread. זה נכון שאנחנו בישראל במצב טוב יותר מכמעט כל מדינות העולם במה שנוגע למספר החולים הקשים ולשיעור התמותה אבל איננו מסתפקים בכך אנחנו שואפים להגיע למידת ההצלחה של כמה מדינות באסיה שהעטו מאוד את קצב ההידבקות בנגיף ולכן החלטתי הערב להביא לממשלה עוד מגבלות מצילות חיים Netanyahu also sought to reassure the Israeli public over the government's unrelenting resolve to deal with scores of the ultra-Orthodox sector in the Jewish state, many of whom refused to adhere to the government's legally binding directives. The Premier underscored that while the majority of the citizens of Israel are acting responsibly by obeying the government's directives, there are certain groups in the country which are pointedly ignoring and are even showing contempt for the measures enacted by the authorities in Jerusalem. Now I have to say to the citizens of Israel that all of them are listening to the administration of the government. I am proud of you. But we still haven't come to the right point. There are some groups, and even more than that, there are certain groups in the country that are listening in the movement, even in the movement, in the clear statements that were מי שעובר על איסור ההתקלויות רומס את עקרונות היסוד של ואהבת לרעך כמוך ולא תעמוד על דם רעך. זאת הפקרות ממדרגה ראשונה. ולכן הנחיתי את כוחות הביטחון לערוך מבצע אכיפה מוגבר. 
It is important to mention that the Prime Minister's reference vis-à-vis -vis the evident disobedience by the ultra-Orthodox sector is backed by hard data. Because of the drastic measures undertaken by the government in Jerusalem, the overall rate of confirmed infections across the majority of Israel is showing some decline, while the number of confirmed cases in the ultra-Orthodox community is on the rise. The two Israeli cities, which are struggling with the largest number of confirmed cases of the coronavirus, include the predominantly ultra-Orthodox city of Bnei Brak, where one out of every three individuals is tested positive for the contagion, with a 34% infection rate, seconded by the Israeli capital Jerusalem, where 10% of tests regrettably confirmed contamination, a majority of whom are reportedly from the ultra-Orthodox sector. Meanwhile, in response to the Premier's directives to bolster enforcement efforts, police and riot police forces have been deployed in numbers to neighborhoods and cities which are predominantly populated by the ultra-Orthodox public. שחלקן לצערי עדיין ממשיך לפעול בלי התחשבות במחלה ובכל מה שקורה היום במדינה ואנחנו צריכים להיות שם כדי לאכוף את זה, כדי לוודא שאותם אנשים לא מפיצים את המחלה. Israeli police spokesperson Miki Rosenfeld explained the situation to TV7, saying that the challenges to convince the ultra-Orthodox community in Israel pertains to their deliberate disconnect from general news outlets, which provide the public with the government's directives, as well as the densely populated neighborhoods they live in. Rosenfeld further stressed that dialogue is ongoing with the rabbis of the separate ultra-Orthodox communities, who are regarded as the sole authority which this sector adheres to. It's very hard for us because normally here in this city we're always together and we like the community and because of these days, because we have to be careful, we're trying to do the best even if it's much more harder than other places. Turning back to Jerusalem, where Israeli Finance Minister Moshe Kachlon announced additional funds that will be allocated as part of the government's economic aid package to assist a growing number of Israelis that are struggling amid the coronavirus crisis. Israel לכמיליון דורשי דמי האבטלה. זה מספר בלתי נתפס. ענפים שלמים ועסקים שלמים נסגרו, מאות אלפי משקי בית קורסים תחת נטל כלכלי. In efforts to assist the public, Minister Kachlon announced that the economic aid package is to be expanded to 80 billion shekels, equal to roughly 20.5 billion euros or 22.5 billion dollars, out of which 11 billion shekels, about 2.8 billion euros or 3.1 billion dollars, will be allocated to the Israeli healthcare system. In addition, roughly 40 billion shekels, about 10.3 billion euros or 11.2 billion US dollars, will be dedicated to the commercial sector, 20 billion shekels, roughly 5.2 billion euros or 5.6 billion US dollars, will be earmarked to expanding the social safety net and to provide relief for households. Furthermore, 8 billion shekels, a little over 2 billion euros or 2.25 billion US dollars, will be dedicated to the state's economic stimulus plan. Ayom, anachnu mosifim 70 milliard shkalim בנוסף ל-10 מיליארד שקלים שהקצינו כבר בעבר. סך הכל 80 מיליארד שקלים. זה הרבה מאוד כסף. זה כ-6% מהתוצר הלאומי של מדינת ישראל. Minister Kachlon sought to reassure the general public of the state's economic resilience, which according to him will likely improve faster than projected once the contagion is indeed subdued. אנחנו כמדינת ישראל והמערכת הכלכלית נכנסנו למשבר הזה עם משק איתן עם אבטלה הנמוכה ביותר בתולדות המשק הישראלי ודירוג האשראי הטוב ביותר מאז קום המדינה ואני אומר לכל אזרחי מדינת ישראל 
אנחנו נחזור לאיתנות כלכלית. הרבה יותר ממה שמצפים, הרבה יותר מהר. המצב הזה לא יימשך לנצח. ואני מאמין שמיד אחרי חג הפסח המשק יחזור לתפקד, אמנם בהדרגה, אבל הוא יחזור לתפקד. It is interesting to know that Finance Minister Moshe Kahlon also announced that he plans to resign from his political life once the new national emergency government is formed. Thank you for watching us. You can also watch us at tv7israelnews.com or tv7.fi. For any comments, please send your emails to israelnews at tv7.fi. And I would like to thank all of our supporters as your financial donations as well as your prayers are the reason TV7 Israel News is made possible. I would like to continue to encourage you to join myself and the team here in Jerusalem in praying for the peace of Jerusalem, the peace and salvation of Israel, as well as for all those who are impacted by this coronavirus crisis around the world. I'm Jonathan Hassan. Have a Erev Tov and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.